welcome back to the Dashcam Dasher for another exciting video. So finally, I have completed the long distance rider EC Rider certification program. That is, I have ridden 805 kilometers in 12 hours. The actual time took for me to complete the ride is exactly 9 hours. So today, I will take you through my journey. Actually, I started at 8.30 in the morning and the choice of highway which I took was wrong. There was a lot of construction work going on and a lot of roadblocks were there. So, according to me, the time I took was uh, somewhat higher. So, let's get straight into the video and enjoy the ride. So, this is how the ride started. I have ridden already around 10 kilometers. And this is the play place where I was about to enter uh, National Highway 44, which connects Kanyakumari to Bangalore. Finally, I enter NH44. The climate was very good. It was not sunny. It had uh, drizzled a bit and the climate was cold. The perfect climate for a perfect ride. So if you look back around uh, 6 months of time, I never thought such a ride would be possible with my ZX. But here we are doing the long distance rider certification ride. So for beginners, let me explain in detail. For this ride, you need to complete 805 kilometers in 12 hours. You cannot run laps around a particular section of road. You can go to one place and then come back from the other place to the same place where you started. So for the proof of ride, you need to get one person as fitness at your starting point. The person needs to take a selfie with you and your motorcycle. And then you need to uh, collect all the bills at the petrol pumps and better take a photo of the bill near your odometer. And then at your finishing point you need to get one more witness. So I started near Thirmal Valley and decided to reach up to Salem and take a U-turn from there and come back. I think that would do 805 kilometers. So finally, I am about to cross Madurai city. So, so far I have travelled around 150 kilometers. The road has been very good so far, barring a few stretches. So I decided to have my first fuel stop after Madurai. The road in this stretch is really excellent, but there is some traffic. So we have to maintain a nominal speed. So here is my first wheel stop. I have travelled around 180 kilometers so far, but I decided to take a fuel break right now. So I continued my ride for uh, some more time and decided to take my breakfast. So I stopped here. Actually, my breakfast is a chocolate bar and some water. I decided to keep my breakfast simple for the sake of saving time. Just completed uh, 250 kilometers. I think uh, the time has crossed almost 3 hours. So the climate is very good. So let's see how much time I will take. Today. So here I got some straight stretch of road where I tried to attain some decent speeds. The maximum I could do was 247 km per hour.
it is. Time has passed four hours and uh, I have done almost 378 kilometers. I think I am on track. The road has not been very good so far. A lot of uh, construction work is going on in the road and a uh, lot of diversions and uh, roadblocks were there. So it took some of my time. But I think uh, still it's a good time. So let's see at what time I'll finish. So again I stop one more time. This time for my lunch. My lunch also consisted of a chocolate bar and some water. Later on I understood it is not a good idea to run just on chocolate bars and water. Soon the ZX started munching the miles and 500 became 600 and 600 became 700. So I was aware that I could complete this ride with a considerable time amount of uh, time left. So right now I have got around uh, 70 kilometers to complete the ride. Construction work was going on in lot of stretches on this highway because of which the traffic was diverted on the opposing lane. I was stuck behind traffic like this in many stretches which consumed a considerable amount of my time. So finally I completed 800 kilometers in exactly 9 hours. So I had considerable amount of time left. So I had a tea break and then my brother who was there for to sign my witness certificate joined me for the remaining ride. Here you can see him riding along with me in his KTM RC390. So this was the toughest part of my ride. Road construction works were going on and there was almost no road. I had another uh, 25 kilometers of ride left and finally we completed the ride successfully. And here I forgot to change the power mode to low power mode. I was still riding in full power mode and had a very tough time on this gravel road. And this is the final stat recorded in my GeoTracker app. And finally, we complete the journey. The time taken is 9 hours and 40 minutes for 838 kilometers. Still, we have got some distance to cover before reaching home. So, I will share my remaining experience once I reach home. So, I reach home in another 25 minutes. And I have to mention that this is the first ZX runner in India to complete the long distance rider, beginner rider certification ride. So my final thought about th this ride is, it is 50% your body and 50% your mind. You should have the confidence that you could complete such rides and your body will automatically take care of the rest. So that's it for today guys. Thanks for watching. See you all in another exciting video.